Hello, hello, hello. Tis I back again. Diane from Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. And I got another update on Pisces by Josephine Wall, 72 by 90, and 260 colors. Yes, if you're new here, I didn't say that wrong. 260 colors. And it will be weeks, the yellow and the white way up there. Weeks six and seven, which equals row six and seven. But before we go any further, I would like to say hello to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate every single one of you. And it still amazes me that you're all here with me on my diamond painting journey. And this one is a journey. And if you're new here today, well, hello. I'm glad you found me. I hope you like what you see and what you hear and you stick around. How do you do that? You can just hit that subscribe button. Absolutely free. Yeah, the one thing in life that's one of the one thing the things in life that's actually free. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go. Now, there's two rows hanging off the table, so I gotta I gotta pull this in so we've pretty much I'll go slow in case it's someone new. We've pretty much seen all this already. We got a face over here somewhere. We we're calling this the conch mobile because it's like one of those conch shells with Poseidon in it. And it's two seahorses. Like I still want to do something with this here though. That's like the line that's he's holding, like the reins that he's holding. We got two fishies over here that I would like to have this bottom plaid taken out of, but we'll see how much courage I got once I got it finished. The only change that I've made so far is with this H. Let's see if I can get, can you see that better? The H is now, it's um, this is a square kit, but uh, Diamond Painting with Sparklers makes rounds for squares they're called sparklers for squares so that's just a little pisces symbol all right let's go whoops i always go the wrong way if you're here for a while you'll figure it out yep now i got to what am i doing here i got to sort of do it this way i got to sort of put your squishy because I'm running out of table because of the arm of my uh my that my camera's on. Let me see now if I can Oh, that's a better view. There we go. Okay. What you can do if you try, hey? <laughs> so this is row six. My fancy paper. We got arms. Oh, where's my booklet? Where's my booklet? Hang on a minute. I got to tell you, stats. So, as I predicted, the bottom of this canvas is way more confetti heavy than up here. So this was the first row here, because we just barely had our elbows showing the last time. And uh, the only bit of confetti I got on that one was in these two sections here, because we had hair, right? We got hair. This is her hair. And I truly believe that she's now a mermaid because of this here. I don't think this is um, plants or anything. I think that's the back of her. And uh, But see, then I'm confused with these two parts with the fins. So I don't know anyway. But she's not colored as a human. Right? She doesn't have that normal flesh looking color. So, I'm really saying that she's a, a mermaid. Looking down. So, row six. Now, again, if you remember, when I started row five, I changed the sizes of my squares because there was less confetti. I went from um, 7.5 to 10 to 10 by 10. And the same thing now from here on in. Only the last square over here is actually 12 by 10 because of just the way it is. 
So it took me 17 hours and 16 minutes. Oh, the one before it was a little bit slower, a little bit faster. And it took me um, five days. Yeah. So. Let's go. Let's pull it down because you want to see the new stuff, don't you? And voila. We have the face. So oh, I'm going to lose her. <laughs> it's getting heavier on the tutter side. Let's go like that. I got to hold on to her. I can't put anything on her. No. Okay. So you see what I mean by this hump here? Like, I don't know by what it is. If it's her body or if this is the, the fin of hers, like the mermaid's tail, fin hanging out that way. But, and she's got her eyes closed. And now we have the beginnings of the rainbow. Hang on, I got a picture. Where's the picture? <clears throat> and you can see her fingers. My placing is not the best. Never will be, never was. I might I feel some, uh, some that might be up. So this one now I was pretty, this, oh yeah, here, I feel something up there too. Anyway, I'll look at it afterwards. So the only two confetti sections were right here in the middle because it's split bit right here. Well, because of her hair and her face. Now her eyes are, her eyes look closed because she's looking down into the pond. Yeah. And then we have, uh, so this is part of the rainbow here. And part of the rainbow, just a, that line there. Now this is, we'll see how that all works out. I got a feeling it's not going to be as bright as I thought it might be. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm thinking this is a, this is a dragonfly, right? The beginnings of a dragonfly. And we got two flowers, three flowers. And over here, this is, the, well, of course, a great big flower in bloom. And some gr green leaves on the bottom. And that took me 14 hours and 37 minutes. The fastest one yet. Uh, only because there's a lot of color blocking. Ish, you know what I mean? Like in this section up here when I, I started it, this 10 by 10 here, there might have only been 15 or 16 colors. I'm like going, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. For anybody that's first seen this uh first time seeing this update I did have one section that I actually down in the bottom that I counted all the colors I wrote down each color that I used and I had a tw in a 7.5 by 10 centimeter section I had 128 colors yeah yeah that was on doing a lot of bottles so this one this top row 10 by uh, 10 up took me uh I said 14 hours and 37 minutes and took me four days. Because I stopped this one on one the same day as I started this one, right? So, but here's the picture of what it will be. So we are, my lawn is a little tiny bit higher. So we are in right here. And this is why I say that, I think, that, let me see if I can zoom that in any better. See right here, it looks like a dragonfly. To me anyway. And this is like a, the leaves of a tree hanging down. We got the Pisces constellation up here. And we got the rainbow all the way around her, which is pretty cool. Let me go back out. And let me turn her again like this a bit more so you can see it. Now you can see how like the shine on the, on the left, how sparkly it is. Especially, you can see, well, you can always see the sparkle better in the dark. No ABs in this kit. It didn't come with any. And I wouldn't, uh, except for that Pisces symbol that I changed, uh, which was an easy change, I wouldn't dream of trying to figure out how to put any enhancements in this kit. Although I know people that have done it as they're working on it, but my brain uh, needs to see the picture first. 
like the whole thing to say, oh yeah, I'll enhance this part or I'll, those things might need a little bit of bling or whatnot. But, but there you go. We have a face. Oh, I'll leave it like that so you can see her a bit better. And let's straighten up the camera a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm really happy with what's happening with her. And um, and and like I said before, this is like it's on a real canvas, like a real painter's canvas. It came from Diamond, Diamond Point Painting Deutschland. And... Um, so what I what I never I said I had the decision here of whether I was going to flip it or not, but with two hundred and sixty symbols, I said no, I can't because I know where my symbols are now, and if I flip it upside down, all the positions of the symbols are going to change because I would have to flip up flip my containers too, like turn them upside down. And uh, hang on one second now for someone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. I gotta go get my things. Okay. Okay. Whoa, it's just like magic. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so there are my drills. I got four, three sets stood up like this. So now they're all right side up. All right, so if I had to flip them, to flip the canvas, I'd have to go this way. Let's just get rid of the stand. I'd have to go this way. And then I said to myself, I'm going to have to learn where all these symbols are again. And I said, I can't do that. <laughs> it's taking me... <coughs> Sorry about that. I just had to have a sip of tea. As one of the ladies said, oh, what's I going to say? I don't know. But anyway, so what I did was I rolled the canvas up and just kept tiling it down. But what I was trying to get, why I was saying that was where this is like a real, well, as far as me, is, is a real painter's canvas. When I unroll it, which I just unrolled this, like, there's a slight little roll in the bottom, but it flattens out, boom. So, I've lost a few drills on the way, I think, rolling it up, but I think because, as you see me going around, I'm feeling for anything that's lifted. Not, not they're, pop, they're not popping, no. It's that I haven't fully put them down correctly it's a habit of mine you know one of them habits so therefore uh but when i'm so i said what i'll do is wait till i'm finished and then i'll fill in the few holes that i got before i de-kit this oh my god can you imagine at least it'll be easier on kit well i gotta put them all in order <laughs> yeah so there you go i'll have all the details of how to reach uh Diamond painting Deutschland. Look at the sparkle on the bottom. <clears throat> Drills are really good. I mean, I got a lot of trash, but I mean, seriously, wouldn't you think I would? Yeah. Um, I think there's over 103,000 drills on this. Cause, and you're thinking that there's 260 colors, so there's going to be way more drills, but there's... <laughs> There's not, because <laughs> it's only so big. It's 72 by 90. That's big enough. So you can only fit so many drills on a 72 by 90. Thank God. And, uh, but I'm loving it. I got to say. Now, will I do the other one I have upstairs, which is another uh, Zodiac? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's just because I'm used to... Doing like a canvas a month or two canvases a month. And I mean, I knew I would never get this done in a month. I am actually so surprised that I started this on the 25th of March. So we're actually at seven weeks. 
this is the 12th of May. So we're going into the seventh week. And I took six days off to do some other little things just so I'd have some finishes. <laughs> oh my, but at least the top now where we're there's way less confetti. I think it looks way better than the bottom. <clears throat> It looks okay through the camera, but with me just looking at it the way it is, except for the fish, except for the fish, and like the bottom I don't mind. I'm hanging on to it because it might slide away. The bottom I don't mind because I know this is all sea, like corals and whatnot. It's in the bottom of the sea and stuff. And, um, but I, is this here and these two fishes here that I would like to be able to do something with, but I don't know if I got the courage. But we'll see. So that's long enough for a review. Go. I didn't realize I kept you this long. All right. Bye. Loves you. Oh, here's your big squishy hug. And I'll see you next time.